Hi, this film will be a short tutorial of how I import my pictures into Lightroom. The reason of this tutorial is first of all to save time. Uh, it's a really fast and efficient way to transfer your files over to your computer and your hard drives from your camera or your memory cards. Uh, second of all, it will save space on your hard drives. So let's begin and talk about how I import and transfer my files. The first thing I will recommend is to use some kind of SSD hard drives. Uh, I use the Samsung T7 right now. I really like them because it's small and got a lot of room to store my photos. I transfer my pictures from my memory card over to my solid state drive. So let's begin and into Lightroom. When you open Lightroom, you will go to the library tab and import down to the left, click it. When you import like I do from the memory card over to the external hard drive, you will use copy to copy the raw files. You will find your memory card on the left side. I already prepared a folder on my desktop for this tutorial. So now when I located the pictures I want to import, I go to the right side on the right side, on where the destination is, I find my hard drive where I will store it. I have a folder uh, with the name um, Builder Raw, so the Swedish word for pictures. So then I will right click on that folder, create a new folder. When I name my folders, I, will, I always use the year, month and day and the lo location of the shoot. Um, it works fine for me, but uh, you can use whatever sorting system you want to do here. So 2024 underscore 03, yesterday's uh, date 30, and I was in Calcbro, Calcbro, and create and choose. Now you located your pictures you want to import. Um, you create a folder inside of your hard drive where you want to store it or on your computer. Sometimes this uh, into subfolder will be checked, then you just have to uncheck it. That's the way I like to have it. And uh, I will import it into the folder, so not by original folders or something like that. I will have into one folder, and that's the folder I just created. So, next step is to uncheck all your pictures, then I just highlight the first one, make it uh, full screen, almost, and then go through them all and um, press P, so P is the shortcut for include in import, so if I like this picture I can press P and I, and I check this box, if I don't want it I can press X and it's remove it. Uh, I don't like that one, so I will go through all my pictures and uh, just take a look at, at them. You can even zoom in if you like. So right arrow and P. That's the way I do it. And press left if you want to go back and, and check it again if you're too fast. There you go. The last step here is just to press import and all the pictures will be in that folder. And on the left side you can find the folder we're transferred into. Uh, click that one and then, then just go to develop and start editing. Hope you enjoy this and learn something from this tutorial. This is a really good workflow for me uh, in my commercial shoots and stuff and I save a lot of space on my hard drives. So comment, subscribe, like, everything like that, and I will see you in the next video.